Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is a short video to show you the new changes on my little program, my little app called Start Descent. This is version 3015 and you can download this at the org store. So just go to xplane.org and just type in Start Descent and hit enter and you're going to see a couple of folders here. I don't know why there's two. They both go to the same place. So we're going to click on that and it tells us that this new version is available and we're going to download this file. And this is going to take you to my website where we can click here to download and we're going to save the file. And we're going to extract this. Extract all. Now Start Descent has to be placed on your C directory. So we're going to browse. We're going to click on C, C directory. So we're on the C drive. We select that folder and we extract. And we're going to go ahead and replace that file. And after extracting this to the C folder, our Start Descent folder, is going to look like this. Now we have a README first. I highly recommend you read that first. And here we have Start Descent. So we're going to double click on Start Descent. And you might get this protection. Go to More Info, Run Anyway. And when you first start Start Descent, it's going to be like this. No labels or anything. And it's just going to suggest you go to File, Setup. And from here, we are going to build the labels. So click this button to create labels. Here's all the labels. It's basically just copying all these default labels into text files. And then we write these changes to disk. It tells us we must restart. So let's close this and let's close this. And you can see it's created a whole lot of files now. So let's double click on Start Descent again. And now we need to enter in some values here. So I'm going to pause and do that. All right, I have the values in place here. And now we click Calculate. And now you're going to see the license agreement. You must agree to the license agreement to be able to use Start Descent. So read the license agreement. If you agree with that, click the little checkbox here and click I agree. And now you'll be able to use Start Descent, and you will never have to deal with that again, I hope. So after we've put in our values, as you can see here, we have a heading, wind direction, wind speed. I put in zero. If you don't want to use those, just put in zero. If you have those and want to use them, that's fine. And we click Calculate, and now you can see the Start Descent. We're going to be 27 miles from our target, wherever we're going to descend to that 5,000 feet. We start 25, 27 miles from that point. Our vertical speed is going to be 500 feet per minute. Altitude lose 5,000 feet, and it's going to take us 10 minutes. And we're happy with that. We're going to save this to disk. So we click on Save to Disk. And we're just going to put here WP Waypoint 1, and we're going to create our TOD file. Now we can open that file by clicking right there. And now we have the TOD report. Notice it's opened this up in Notepad, so that's pretty good. Now you have your first set of uh, calculations right here. So now we're back to the Start Descent page. Let's just say we have another heading, and we'll keep everything the same just to make it simple. We're going to click Calculate, Save to Disk, and we'll put uh, Waypoint 2 up here, whatever that might be, and we're going to this time add to existing TOD. We click on that, open file, and now you can see it's added to second waypoint. And you can continue doing that. And that's about all there is to the new stuff on Start Descent. But as long as we're here, we'll go over some other things. We have a help file here that'll help you if you have trouble knowing or learning how to use this here. We have clear all. That's going to remove all, all our inputs here. And 
exit don't save will remove all these and the next time you start it they will all be blank if you just exit the next time you start start descent all these figures will be here and if we save these here there is another help file here that'll help you with saving and actually you can click here to see it a sample TOD report give you an idea what they're going to look like and that's it for the updates to start descent version 3015 and one thing very important it has to be installed on your C directory with this name as the file folder whatever is downloaded that's the folder that you want to use otherwise you will not be able to see the TOD report so there's a link in the description below that'll take you to the forum, Explains forum page, where you can uh, download Start Descent. So that's it. If you like this, please click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I love to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching, and God bless.